My name is Evi Zambetakis and I'm an energy security specialist. I am Greek uh, on both sides, so I kind of always had two identities. There was always another side to my perspective and the lens through which I approached anything in life. So I grew up in Houston, which is the energy capital of the U.S., so energy's everywhere. Uh, it was always something that was in the, in the back of my mind. Um, and so I was in, in Houston up until 14. I moved to Greece from 14 to 18, uh, and that really opened up my eyes to wanting to be involved in something extremely international. I currently am working with the University of Nicosia in Cyprus to build uh, relationships with North American universities, uh, both on the student side and also on the faculty collaboration side. And then I am also building a center um, with the university for the study of Mediterranean energy security. Eastern Mediterranean as a whole is definitely, it's understood that it is an important component of the energy issue. I think that it can often get obscured by some of the bigger players, of course. Uh, but I think that energy will play, a, will play an important role for Greece. Um, I think it's important, actually, it's vital for Greece to be a player in this, um, in this issue. So we are a transit country right now. I think we will become a producing country at some point. I think that we can also be an innovative country. We've done innovative things on things like desalination, um, we have a lot of uh, potential for solar. I know we already use it sort of on a you know, household basis, but I think there's more interesting ways uh, and commercial ways that we can do that. I absolutely admire anyone who has the courage to do something on their own. Anyone who you know, veers off the beaten path and, and tries something different, because it takes a lot of courage. It's a big risk. Um, it's a lot of stress. And, uh, and you don't know, and it's a big unknown, it's a big question mark. So I, I admire people with entrepreneurial spirit. The thing that kind of makes me sad about the crisis is that I know a lot of my peers are leaving Greece. And, and I really lament the brain drain because it's, it's such a shame. I mean, I would have loved to have gone back to Greece post-college. Post I cried when I left, um, when I left in high school and had to come back. I mean, I knew I would. I wanted to stay in the, in the U.S. educational system, but um, if I could have gone back and if the, the foundations were there, um, I, I would have because everything else is so wonderful.